Hi. This is retrieving data using SQL lesson. This is the outline of this lesson. SQL standard in Oracle is comply with the industry standard ANSI. There are four types of SQL statement. Data manipulation. Data definition language. Data control language and. Transaction control. The primary Oracle environment use in this lesson is Oracle SQL Developer. The human resources. HR, schema is a part of the Oracle sample schemas that can be installed in an Oracle database. The practice sessions in this lesson use data from the HR schema. Regions contains rows that represent a region such as America, Asia, and so on. Countries contains rows for countries, each of which is associated with a region. Locations contains the specific address of a specific office, warehouse, or production site of a company in a particular country. Departments shows details about the departments in which the employees work. Each department may have a relationship representing the department manager in the employees table. Employees contains details about each employee working for a department. Some employees may not be assigned to any department. Jobs contains the job types that can be held by each employee. Job underscore history contains the job history of the employees. If an employee changes departments within a job or changes jobs within a department, then a new row is inserted into this table with the earlier job information of the employee. A select statement retrieves information from the database. With a select statement, you can use the capabilities as shown in the slide. Projection Select the columns in a table that are returned by a query. Select as few or as many of the columns as required. Selection, select the rows in a table that are returned by a query. Various criteria can be used to restrict the rows that are retrieved. Joining, bring together data that is stored in different tables by specifying the link between them. In its simplest form. A select statement must include a select clause, which specifies the columns to be displayed, a from clause, which identifies the table containing the columns that are listed in the select clause. You can display all columns of data in a table by following the select keyword with an asterisk. In the example in the slide, the department table contains four columns, Department underscore ID, Department underscore name, Manager underscore ID, and Location underscore ID. The table contains eight rows, one for each department. You can use the select statement to display specific columns of the table by specifying the column names, separated by commas. The example in the slide displays all the department numbers and location numbers from the department's table. The slide shows the rule of thumb of writing SQL. SQL statements are not case sensitive. SQL statements can be entered on one or more lines. Keywords cannot be abbreviated or split across lines. Clauses are usually placed on separate lines. Indents are used to enhance readability. In SQL Developer, SQL statements can optionally be terminated by a semicolon. Semicolons are required when you execute multiple SQL statements. In SQL Asterisk Plus, you are required to end each SQL statement with a semicolon. You may need to modify the way in which data is displayed, or you may want to perform calculations, or look at what-if scenarios. All these are possible using arithmetic expressions. An arithmetic expression can contain column names, constant numeric values, and the arithmetic operators. The slide lists the arithmetic operators that are available in SQL. You can use arithmetic operators in any clause of a SQL statement, except the from clause. The example in the slide uses the addition operator to calculate a salary increase of $300 for all employees.
The first example in the slide displays the last name, salary, and annual compensation of employees. It calculates the annual compensation by multiplying the monthly salary with 12, plus a one-time bonus of $100. Note that multiplication is performed before addition. You can use parentheses to reinforce the standard order of precedence and to improve clarity. For example, the expression in the slide can be written as, 12 asterisk salary, plus 100 with no change in the result. Null is a value that is unavailable, unassigned, unknown, or inapplicable. Null is not the same as zero or a blank space. Arithmetic expressions containing a null value evaluate to null. In the commission underscore PCT column in the employees table, notice that only a sales manager or sales representative can earn a commission. Other employees are not entitled to earn commissions. When displaying the result of a query, SQL Developer normally uses the name of the selected column as the column heading. This heading may not be descriptive and, therefore, may be difficult to understand. You can change a column heading by using a column alias. The first example displays the names and the commission percentages of all the employees. Note that the optional as keyword has been used before the column alias name. The result of the query is the same whether the as keyword is used or not. Also, note that the SQL statement has the column aliases, name, and comm, in lowercase, whereas the result of the query displays the column headings in uppercase. As mentioned in the previous slide, column headings appear in uppercase by default. The second example displays the last names and annual salaries of all the employees. Because annual salary contains the space, it has been enclosed in double quotation marks. Note that the column heading in the output is exactly the same as the column alias. You can link columns to other columns, arithmetic expressions, or constant values to create a character expression by using the concatenation operator. Columns on either side of the operator are combined to make a single output column. In the example, last underscore name and job underscore ID are concatenated, and given the alias employees. Note that the last name of the employee and the job code are combined to make a single output column. The as keyword before the alias name makes the select clause easier to read. A literal is a character, a number, or a date that is included in the select statement. Date and character literal values must be enclosed within single quotation marks. Each character string is output once for each row returned. The example in the slide displays the last names and job codes of all employees. The column has the heading employee details. Note the spaces between the single quotation marks in the select statement. The spaces improve the readability of the output. In the following example, the last name and salary for each employee are concatenated with a literal to give the returned rows more meaning. Many SQL statements use character literals in expressions or conditions. If the literal itself contains a single quotation mark, you can use the quote operator and select your own quotation mark delimiter. You can choose any convenient delimiter, single byte, or multibyte, or any of the following character pairs. To eliminate duplicate rows in the result, include the distinct keyword in the SELECT clause immediately after the SELECT keyword. In the second example in the slide, the employees table actually contains 20 rows, but there are only 7 unique department numbers in the table. In this lesson, we have learned the categories of SQL statements, the HR schema, capabilities of SQL statement, Basic select statement. SQL rule of thumb. Arithmetic expression. Defining null. Defining column alias. Concatenation operator. Literal character string.